Yeah, I mean, they were, they were asking me if I was targeting the guy, which, yeah, he was my target. I was trying to hit him. Uh, I don't know what that means. Um, so I guess it... I guess it just means that um, it's coming out of my paycheck in the NFL if, if I did it, so. How do you feel physically after a game on a normal side? Um, <laughs> pretty, pretty sore. Um, you feel overall just, I guess, like you'd feel if you're getting out of bed and you're 80 years old. Uh, just your joints hurting and... Um, you're, you're finding bruises that you didn't know you had the night before. Uh, that's that's probably the worst part. Um, you know, all the adrenaline's going the night before, and so you don't realize everything that's hurt and everything that's banged up. And when you can't turn your head one way, your neck's so sore. And uh, but overall, um, I'd have to say I like that feeling because it means that that I played a physical game, and and that's why you play the game. Oh, I love going there. I think it's a great atmosphere. It's a great college football atmosphere. Um, you know, I think I think their fans are great. I think it it gets you it gets you excited to play. I'd put them in the same category as as maybe Oklahoma State. Their fans that are so close uh, that they're really they're really right on top of you the whole game, uh, and you feel like that at Tech with uh, with the constant the constant heckling, I guess. But it's it's definitely a fun place to play for sure. Uh, greatest thing ever would be to go down and get a win. Um, that would be the greatest thing. Uh, that's really that's all that we're trying to do. And, uh, you know, I think since everybody wants to refer to two years ago, uh, that really would have made my week a whole lot better if everything would have happened, but we would have just won the game. Uh, so we're, we're really just trying to go down there and get a win. That would be the best possible situation. Um, you know, I was just telling Garrett, I know that Garrett holds himself to a high standard and uh maybe uh stat wise I know he's he's kinda disappointed, you know, that that him personally he's he's not putting out the numbers that he wants to. And uh I was really just telling him that uh we don't care if, you know, we're playing a, a six to three game, a ten to three game, you know, we embrace the chance to go out there and play defense. That's what we do. Um, and so it, it really doesn't matter to us. Um, you know, we're going to have situational awareness, but at the same time, we're going to play at the same intensity and play at the same edge that, that Coach Muschamp expects of us. So um, I was telling them it, it really doesn't matter. You know, we got the win, and if, if they don't score more than, more than six points the rest of the year, then we'll be fine. Right. Um, I think uh, with with all the older players that were around me in that situation, um, whether it was Brian Arakpo, Roy Miller, um, Colt, you know, all the guys that were around me, they weren't gonna let me harp on that situation um, because I I guess overall I owed it to my team. Um, to move on and to be able to to get ready and play and play the next game, uh, it was it was going to be really selfish for me to to harp on that one play and that one game and any time really your performance in one game it's selfish to not be able to move on um, because you know the the really the worst thing that could happen is for one play to affect you later on um, and so I had I had a lot of great role models and there were great uh, a lot of great leaders on that team uh, that that didn't allow me to to harp on that. Um, <laughs> I think I think I did maybe that Sunday and Monday, and whenever practice rolled around on Tuesday, uh, and I we kind of got back in the rhythm of it and the intensity of practice. Um, that you know what happened last week was last week. Um, then we knew we had to move on, and in turn that rubbed off on me, and so it it really helped me grow up in that sense. Did, did anybody give you a hard time about it? I mean, was it something that kind of became you 
Oh yeah, sure. Sure, yeah. You know, you wanna you wanna be able to keep it loose, um, so you you don't go out there and lock up and not be able to make plays. Um, now we can joke about it, and uh, like I've said before, you know, here in five, ten years, whenever I'm done playing ball uh, altogether, I'll be able to go back and and harp on, you know, everything I did do wrong, and you know, all the all the coulda, woulda, shouldas, you know. But right now, I owe it to, you know, a hundred and 20 other guys that are down there in that locker room, um, I owe it to them to move on and, and play one game at a time. And right now in 2010, we're playing the Red Raiders of 2010 uh, with our team this year. And so what happened last year, what happened the year before is really irrelevant. Uh, it made it easier for sure because – I was not about to. Uh, I was not about to whine and complain to to Steve Gideon. Uh, you know, he's that's that's just the overall the overall approach that my dad's always had that that there's going to be good things and bad things that happen, and that's what makes the game great. Um, you know, it forces you to grow up. It forces you forces you to mature as a man. And um, so it was it was really. I would go as far to say that we should embrace those kind of moments because it does help you grow up. And uh, it, it helped me grow up a lot faster than maybe a lot of guys my age uh, would have been called to do. Last one for Blake. Blake, when you see Tech, do you just automatically have an image of an offense that might be different for the first time since you've been here, or is it pretty much the same? I think, I think overall it's going to be the same in the sense that we all know what kind of athletes Tech has. Um, you know, it's it's a lot of the same guys we played against in high school. Um, so you know, we know that we know how explosive they can be, and you know what kind of threats they have on the perimeter as well as inside. So um, it's it's a fun game. It's a challenge to go up there, but you know they can they can change coaches or whatever. Um, but we still know what kind of capabilities they have, uh, talent wise, and uh, there's a lot of great players, just overall great football players on that team. Who said that? <laughs> um, I I hope. I mean, I hope that I've gotten better every day, every time I've stepped on the field. Uh, I don't want to be the same player as I was the day before. Uh, I've said this a million times, and all you guys are probably tired of hearing it. That uh, Coach Muschamp says you you never stay the same. You either get better or worse every day. And so I hope that that I've made huge strides now, two three years removed from high school. I hope I wasn't the same player that that this mystery coach mentioned. So, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I I hope overall I've, I've grown as a player. Sure. Thanks, Blake. <laughs>